Hello everyone, welcoming you to Short of Source Classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM 2024 Economics Paper question number 51. An individual owns a mobile phone currently valued at rupees 40,000. The current wealth of the individual is rupees 2 lakhs including the value of the mobile phone. According to reports, there is a 20% chance of the mobile phone theft and an actually fair premium, fair insurance policy is available to ensure the loss of the mobile phone against the theft. The individual's von Neumann Morgenstern utility of wealth function is given by root over W. Then the maximum willingness to pay for such an actually fair insurance free policy is how much? Okay, so suppose let's let's say that H is the maximum willingness to pay. For an actuarially fair insurance okay and just for a recap if you have to understand that what is actually fair insurance policy actuarially fair insurance policy it is that insurance policy under which the expected utility of the consumer is unchanged that is expected utility with insurance should be equals to the expected utility without insurance. Okay. So that is what we want to essentially ensure is that the insurance is such that it covers appropriate coverage such that it is actually leaving the individual with that much of utility that the individual would have got had he not purchased the insurance. So the first thing that we can understand is that if this condition has to hold, then the insurance coverage, insurance should provide full coverage, right? It cannot be partial. So like for example, in this case, if the theft occurs, what is the loss that we are talking about? 40,000. So this should be the exact insurance coverage. In the event of the theft, this is what the insurance company should pay to the consumer. So this should be what the insurance coverage. Okay. So if we now define the situation that, so with probability, uh, equals to 0 0.2 the theft will occur and there will be a loss of 40,000 right and with probability remaining 0 0.8 the theft will not occur and the loss would be 0 okay so let's say that if the individual did not purchase any insurance then what would be his expected utility with 0 0.2 probability, he will have lost his phone. So that would be the original W minus L plus 
with 0.8 probability theft would not have occurred so that would be simply utility of w okay so what is the initial wealth it is 2 lakhs so that means this is basically 0.2 times and the utility function is given to be under root of w so under root of 2 lakh minus 40000 that makes it 1 lakh 60000 plus 0 0.8 times 2 lakh mark it as equation 1 so if the individual does not purchase the insurance then this is his expected utility that he is expected to derive and if the individual purchases the insurance then what will be his expected utility with 0.2 percent probability he will lose l but given that he has bought an insurance the insurance company will pay him back that l as insurance claim but for which he has to pay an amount of h so h will go out of his pocket plus with 0.8 percent probability he does not lose anything so the insurance company does not settle his claim but he has already bought the insurance by paying h so that means this will basically be 0 0.2 times utility of w minus h plus 0 0.8 times utility of w minus h so that is simply utility of w minus h so that is under root 2 lakh minus h okay so if the individual purchases the insurance that this is what his expected utility should look like so that means for actuarially fair premium these two should be equal So 0 0.2 times under root 1,60,000 plus 0 0.8 times under root 2 lakh is equals to under root 2 lakh minus h. This is the expression that we need to solve. If you work out the left hand side, this will be giving you 1,91,643.34 and with squared it up this will be 2 lakh minus h so h will come out to be 8356.659 so this is the maximum willingness to pay okay and you want to round it off to your nearest integer so that is 8 3 5 7 this will be our answer that is the maximum willingness to pay for purchasing an actuarially fair premium thank you